Ladies and gentlemen, my name is George Papistrat, and I'm running for U.S. Congress. And I'm running against the current U.S. Congressman, Dr. Greg Murphy, um, because as a veteran and as a local business owner and as a constituent of his, I reached out for help. And I got a canned response back. I'm a doctor of more than 30 years, and there's no evidence that medical cannabis can help veterans. But blah, 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 I'm building a hyperbaric chamber in the Midwest. Well, in Massachusetts a couple months ago, I stumbled across this free medical screening for any veteran that thinks medical cannabis may be an option for them. Not smoking joints and bongs and all that good stuff, but look, concentrates that you could put in your drink at home to relax. Who would have thought? I know. This looks really, really troublesome, doesn't it? So I continue to reach out because Congresswoman Nancy May introduced some legislation into the federal government. Another form of concentrate, right? Again, we're not talking about smoking joints. We're, tra- we're talking about medicine to help people. Um, federal legislation to introduce medical cannabis to the um, world, essentially decriminalizing it. Not decriminalizing it, I apologize. Moving it from a Schedule One to a Schedule Two drug, so making it like the same playing field as cocaine and opioids, right? So I again emailed our current congressman, Dr. Greg Murphy, and at that point he admitted that states with a medical cannabis program have a 30% less chance of overdose for those on opioids. I took opioids for 10 years. No, no, not that long, probably like five. Many of us know someone that died of an opioid overdose. You know... This looks like a better alternative to opioids. Dr. Greg Murphy told me he'd take my thoughts into consideration since he's in the VA committee, right, as a congressman. So in other words, what you're saying is that you think that me taking an opioid, oh, by the way, all your money comes from pharmaceutical companies, is a better option than something that's natural. That doesn't look too dangerous, does it? Not as dangerous as a pandemic of drugs that are being smuggled across the border. That's just one program that I think that can make America a better place and prosperous. Just think if we federally allowed states to be able to have a medical cannabis program where they could then use the banking system and increase tax revenue. And my gosh, patients could go to places like the vault and dispensary in Massachusetts and get a whole brochure on everything involved. I think we can make a difference. My name's George Papistrat. I'm running for U.S. Congress. I think I can help us. Are you ready? Let's do this.